Hello and welcome to a guide on how to install Tales from the Age of Men and this is the Bannerlord mod. First of all what we want to do is we want to navigate to Steam. Once Steam is open we want to find our Bannerlord installation. Now you do need to be playing on version 1.2.12 which will require you to change your beta version or your version of your game. So what you want to do to do that is you want to right click on it, go to properties, go to betas, and then you'll find this little drop down menu right here. And this drop down menu will allow you to select from any of the versions from the past and indeed some in the, some in the future. And then you, you want to select 1.2.12, like I said. Once that's done, it will uh, download some new files or some old files and then you'll be ready. Once you've done that, then you want to go over here, right click on Bannerlord once again, go to Manage, Browse Local Files, and this is what is going to come up. You're going to have your Windows Explorer come up and you're going to have the mother directory for Bannerlord, which is going to have the modules folder. So we want to open up the modules folder and this is where we are going to be placing our Lord of the Rings mod. But of course, first of all, what we would want to do is actually go and download the mod itself. So if you don't have it downloaded, go here. There is a link in the description if you want to you know, go to the mod DB version. If you want to go to Nexus, then you can obviously Google that and go to that. Otherwise, you want to go from summary over to files. And then you will see this right here, which is Lord of the Rings Age of Men August 28 release. You want to click on that. And that's going to take you to this download. Obviously, this is 16 GB. It's going to take a little bit of time to download it, dependent on your connection speed. Once it's downloaded, then we'll continue. All right, so the download is now done. And you can see here, this is our zip file. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up straight away. It just has this inside it, right? So this is age of men and then the date, obviously. And you can then open that up. These are the things that you want to extract into your modules folder so what we're going to do is we're going to literally just highlight all of this and we're just going to click and drag that over into modules so you see here it says copy to modules that's what you want to see and then you just drop it there and then it's going to extract that from the zip into your modules folder i'm not obviously going to do that because i already have this installed but i just wanted to show you the process of how to get that working now, once it's installed, once it's, well, been extracted from the zip file, what we're going to do then is we're going to close the zip file. We don't need that anymore. And we are then instead going to go down here and we're going to download this module unblocker. This is a lifesaver for every single installation I have ever had. And if obviously it's not working, then you just need to make sure your dependencies are working because there are going to be requirements for the module itself. You are going to need Harmony, you will need UI Extender, and you'll need a bunch of others. There will be a list in the description of what mods you need and which versions I'm using, and you can go and download those from their various sources. So yes, anyway, I will put a link to Module Unblocker because this is just a lifesaver. Basically, you wanna put this in your modules folder as well, just like you would any regular mod, and then you just go to Module Unblocker all dot bat, and then you literally just double click on this. You just double click on this and then a command prompt will come up for like, I don't know, two seconds and it will unblock all of your modules and then it's going to be working just fine. And then all you, all you do is you go to your standard launcher. I personally like using a custom community launcher. I am using Novus at the moment, but I have used things like uh, Butter Launcher, Butter Loader Launcher, and various other launchers. And I'd highly recommend looking into some of those. Anyway, that's it. That is all you need to do to install the mod. It is all about just making sure you have the right load order. There is a load order on the download page itself, and they show you exactly what the load order should be, but there will be a load order in the description of this video as well. So hopefully that helps you out. Hopefully that gets you playing in Middle-earth very soon. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.